Our little North Idaho ain't so little known anymore. And there are some areas that growing up, Connor, <laughs> we didn't even go to these areas. They weren't even like cities, basically. So now they're one of the hottest areas to live in North Idaho. Um, you know, me working, you know, in the backyards of many of these places and, and Connor and the team selling houses for, you know, a long time here. We've been down these roads. So there's a, actually a brand new ranking on niche.com. We can't steer you in any way for the best areas and best schools, but we'll leverage their list. And it ain't the way that I'd rank it, but their list, it does a great job explaining a few of these areas that you might like to live. And most importantly, in North Idaho, a couple areas you might hate living. So if you want to learn that, we're getting after it right now. What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson Wilkie. I'm Connor Hammonds. That's right. We're the Living CDA team here. If you are brand new to this channel, you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. We honestly get so many phone calls, emails, texts every day from people moving and relocating here to North Idaho, and we love it. So thinking about moving anywhere in the area, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to North Idaho. All right, Connor. I got What's some, up, buddy? I got some real problems with this list. Because my, my Niche, area ain't number that? one, and it should Niche. be. Niche.com. Niche.com. So, again, you know, as real estate agents, we're not allowed to steer and push you in any direction. But, you know, this is all public information. Niche.com, Redfin.com, any of these sites are going to have school rankings. Uh, we just want you to know, too, that some of these areas that are getting just fresh developed, they may not have the, the the statistical data or whatever to push their schools up higher, but it's North Idaho. You're not going to have these just completely hellacious areas. Um, a lot of them are going to be the same in schools, but some of them might be more crowded. But we're going to run hey, we, that through the highest ranked areas. Yeah, we can roast the list too, you know. We need to roast it. <laughs> Especially the last ones. Don't miss the last one because I'm going to roast it all day long. All right. But these are the hottest areas, the brand new ranking. So if you're thinking about moving here into 2022, going into 2023, these are the areas to look at. Number uh, seven is going to be uh, the Athol area. So, yes, we said Athol. Athol. Um, if you look at on the map, I'm going to bring it up on the map. If you want to just tell them about Athol, what's going on there, all the new stuff. We got. Well, go. yeah, besides for all the jokes that we used to – uh, have about it growing up uh, by just how it sounds. Uh, Athol, it used to be just really out in the middle of nowhere, um, not even really a town growing up. Um, and now it's changed. I mean, one of the big anchors up there is is Silverwood Theme Park. Mm -hmm. um, that's huge. But, but honestly, when you're looking at Athol, there's a couple things that I love about it, especially on the east side of Highway 95, because it's really the town that you would consider when you're thinking of the southern part of Lake Pend Oreille, uh, Bayview, Farragut State Park. I mean, it is some gorgeous, gorgeous land over there. Um, and, you know, looks like that might be a photo taken in uh, February. <laughs> I don't know. It's October, North Idaho. You know, this yeah, could happen in October. It could be real time. But pretty. But I mean, way, oh my God. You got mountain views. Just gorgeous. Yeah. gorgeous. Keep and going. honestly, honestly, everyone, no, you're good. PR wise, everyone thinks of Coeur d'Alene um, when you're searching North Idaho and Lake Coeur d'Alene in, in particular. But in terms of aesthetic beauty, like Lake Pend Oreille is probably number one on my list. Mm -hmm. Like you go, you go into Bayview. Um, we we took the kids this summer to, to Beaver Bay, which is a, a really cool little swimming beach yeah. area down right there where you're pointing that yeah. that very bottom tip of of Lake Ponderé, and you got just mountains coming straight into the water. It's that that area right there, uh, Farragut State Park. They used to that they have a uh, used to test Navy submarines. The lake is so deep, um, it's crazy. And you got mountain goats on the east side of of that that lake. Yep. Um, and so all of that really is, is honestly part of Athol because that's the town right there. It's growing in terms of amenities. There's some new restaurants that just opened, um, Sweet Lou's, you got a big grocery store, a lot of things coming into that area that weren't there before that make it 
a little bit more attainable to buy and live on a 5, 10, 20 acre parcel of land with a house and not have to drive all the way into Hayden for your groceries and, and all that good stuff. We learned a lot of people want to get to Idaho and have their space, but not be in the middle of nowhere. Um, and Apple yep. is an area that just blew up. I mean, that was just the cross section of Highway 54 and 95, and that was it. Um, they did have a country buffet out there, whatever. Um, but that's that's it. So Apple. I never where, frequented that one. Yeah, Apple's where like now we're getting uh, a lot of five acre, ten acre pieces and. You know, it just puts you really close to a lot of things. So um, the, the next one on the list that we want to talk about, and I'm going to put it right there with seven. It was ranked. They're, they're about the exact same. And it's just over to the west is Spirit Lake, but almost a yep. completely different vibe, um, you know, going on and a, and a lot more building going over there. So here's Ath on the map. Tell them about Spirit Lake and everything going on there. Yeah, Spirit Lake's more of a it's it's an older town and, and it's been established for a long time. Um, and the growth around Spirit Lake, I mean, there's a lot of new construction, little neighborhoods popping up, um, but it's still a very like classic small town feel. Um, you go down Main Street and it's actually um, spelled like the, uh, the state. Yeah, like the state right there. <laughs> <laughs> Which you gotta love. We gotta show them our uh, favorite bars down here. And, and real quick, uh, I gotta stop you because I've talked about this in some videos. Yeah. This is Main Street, and if you come yep. for if you're here in June, go to Father's Day. They do lawnmower races right here. Right. I'm talking grown ass men, 45 miles an hour on lawnmowers, and everybody lines the streets with tall cans. The dude walks oh, out mm -hmm. right here from the White Horse. He's like six foot eight. He's got a double barrel shotgun, and he shoots it in the air to start the festivities. It's oh, the it's most amazing North Idaho thing that you will know. It's amazing. Wait, wait, stop. Go to the left. Oh, there's the Linger Longer Lounge. Linger Longer, yep. I did my uh, bachelor party <laughs> night out at the Linger Longer Lounge. Yep. No joke. White Horse. And the White and then, Horse. And then right down here is the lake. So you have lake access. So we do a lot of you know, fishing and uh, yep. ice fishing, all that. But the reason we show that and not to joke about it is um, it, it is a cool little town with restaurants, yep. with bars. And you'll go there when you live in Hayden or Coeur d'Alene, like we, we're always going to spirit Lake for, yep. uh, you know, just something going on and it's just breathtaking, but they, what's going on with some of the new construction in that area and, and houses over there. Yeah. There again, on the kind of on the East side of spirit Lake, you got a lot of the more acreage properties, one to five acre properties, houses with shops. They're still building um, new construction going on out there. There's, mm -hmm. But there's also some in-town construction too with like Dom. He's he's built quite a few brand new houses down in that area. Um, and so the price points up there are definitely, you're going to get a little bit more bang for your buck. Price per square foot's lower. Median home, home price is going to be lower, obviously, than Coeur d'Alene and Hayden and Post Falls. Um, but you're really you know, 25, 30 minutes into downtown, uh, probably 30 to 35 to, um, if you're up in spirit. Yeah. But what I've always told people, Spirit Lake, just like Twin Lakes, um, those little um, kind of lakes on the peripheral of of the kind of metro, there have always been lakes that locals have, have gone out to and, you know, or own second little cabins, little lake cabins up there. And just because it's a little slower pace, amazing fishing lakes, you – you still can motor have motorized boats. You're still wakeboarding, skiing, all the things you want. Mm -hmm. You're just not on that big touristy area of like the main part of Lake Coeur d'Alene or even, you know, Hayden Lake sometimes off a of honeysuckle where it gets yeah. just crazy. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a sleepier town, but you got your main grocery stores um, and you do have Highway 41, which is your major north and south highway over there. So you can actually get over to, uh, you know, Spokane if you need to pretty quickly via that road. So. Those are yeah, those are the real top. Quick, oh, real quick, add, for both Athol and Spirit Lake, those both of those towns feed into the Lakeland School District, yep. um, which is a really well known uh, school district, very high, highly regarded, um, low teacher or low um, student to teacher ratios, and people uh, a lot of good uh, education options in the Lakeland School District. Yeah, I think it definitely areas locals know, but um, you're, you're going to want to look at those areas. But if you don't like the country and kind of that slower feel, you're probably going to want to avoid those areas. Um, yeah. it is that, you know, and you're going to see some real Idaho in those areas. So. Oh yeah. We didn't talk about the snow bowl. I mean, there's more snow in that, that Valley there than there is in, in other yeah. areas. So that, that's the other thing. And that's why we say you may hate living in these areas because this right here, uh, you know, we talked about it 
let me get up here. Basically, Spirit Lake, this whole area right here is what is called a snow belt. So you, you will see, and I used to work power lines all the time. I mean, we'd get like 11, 13 inches in Coeur d'Alene, like a massive dump, crazy. And you'd go up here and there'd be 21 inches. Like it was yeah. insanity. So you're going to get a lot more snow up here uh, in this snow belt. Okay, so we're going to go down the list. Uh, and the next one, I'll just keep the map up, is Hauser, Idaho. Tell them about Hauser. Hitting that, moving up. Hauser's my jam. My parents currently live out there. Yep. Uh, they opened a, a restaurant a few years back called Embers on the Lake, right a up bomb on the north, pizza northeast. Dog. Yeah, wood fire pizza. They don't own it anymore, but the, it's the same exact um, style of restaurant. Love it. Again, it's one of those little lakes on the outside of the area. Amazing fishing. I think the the state record tiger muskie tiger got muskie, pulled out baby. of that that lake yep people boating um skiing wakeboarding wake surfing um and it's one thing that's a big plus and we have a lot of clients that gravitate toward hauser if they work in washington yep. so you are super close to the border but you're still in idaho um and you can pop over to the valley real quick going on on the on the upper highway um on trent and it's just an, an awesome place to live access wise and you feel like you're out in the country. There's some newer developments that have been popping up um, out there on one acre pieces of land. Timbered Ridge is building out there um, on the ridge, which with ha which has an amazing view over the valley mm -hmm. looking south. And then up by Embers, they have um, another development going on up there as well. So you can get new construction. You can also get old older homes. You can get lake view homes, homes on the water uh it's a really cool spot i'm a little biased because i spent a lot of time out there but man yep i love i love hauser i just dropped it down so you guys obviously we're looking at that country the the mountains around there it is kind yep. of middle of nowhere but you drop right down uh you know hauser lake road and there you are you're on the on 53 which is obviously what we talked about up north here this is 41 feeds into 53 and then that's your quickest route i used to actually take 53 to spokane when i worked there over a decade yep. ago so i would come from hayden take the prairie roads over this <laughs> a little more built out than than those days uh but it was a straight shot right to to uh 53 and over to spokane so he's right if you if you enjoy idaho um and you know you want to be in idaho this is some of your closest living to get right over to spokane yep next on the list um we are going to call it the rat dump. No, but Raft in <laughs> Idaho. We just called it the rat dump growing up, but it's one of the actually sneaky best school districts. And again, we can't steer, but you can read about it. Um, yep. Great school districts. But again, all these areas right here, which were just such small towns, there wasn't really anything. Raft a little bit bigger growing up, but yeah, these are some of the hottest areas our, our clients are choosing once they get in there. Yeah. And I mean, we think of it as getting bigger, but there's still teeny, teeny towns. So a lot of you guys yeah. watching <laughs> and, uh, and you'll go down main street or Rathrum. And again, it's, it's a lot like uh, spirit Lake. There's, you got Nadine's, you have Westwood brewing company, but at the end of the day, it's just like, Look you know, yep. old town, old town, old small town vibe. Rathrum like with spirit Lake and, you know, spirit Lake feeds into Timberlake high school. Rathrum has Lakeland high school and that whole, that whole district is Lakeland school district. So yeah, like Jackson was saying, right there's a here. lot of good, a lot of good education options. Oh, you got to get over to main street somehow, man. Well, I, um, I was going to show the, the school cause. Oh yeah. Right here. You go, you, you go got across. the train going through. Oh yeah. There's the Lakeland Hawks coming up. Yep. Um, but they have an amazing, uh, highly rated STEM Academy, uh, which is elementary school. I think all the way up through high school. I'd have to double check on that. How about that um, for backdrop? That that's it, man. Yeah, and there's Rathrum a lot of houses Mountain. and roads, sneaky little roads that we know right up in here. I did a lot yeah. of the power lines up in the mountains there. Some some great view view mm -hmm. homes back up in there. You got acreage houses up there. Not really like usable land, but you're kind of on the side of the mountain with crazy views. Yep. Um, and Ra I mean, Rathrum's growing. If you if you look south of the city center. There's a lot of really nice new construction going on. There's Radiant Lake, a man-made lake, gated community. Um, but it's really close to everything. Um, and it's going to keep growing because there's a lot of prairie land, and that's where all the new construction is going, south of Rathrum and north of Post Falls. So, yeah, if you, love, if you really like the suburban life, you like planned neighborhoods with 
walking paths and parks. There's a lot of that being built in that south southern area of Rathrum. And why don't you talk real quick to um, probably, you know, price wise, one of the lower for being like right there in that hub of yeah. Aiden, Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls. Uh, Rathroom is going to be probably most affordable, even new construction, correct? Yeah. When you talk kind of the main four is what we talk about. And you yeah. can see how the, how the highways connect. You get pretty much four main um, towns. So you got Coeur d'Alene, you go north to Hayden, over to Ra- west to Rathroom and down to Post Falls. Out of those four, Rathrum is going to be your most, uh, your best value in terms of median home price and, and price per square foot. Uh, you're just going to get more bang for your buck up there, just because it's a little bit further from, you know, the epicenter, which which is the, the downtown Coeur d'Alene and the lake. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, we get a lot of a lot of clients who come visit. They want to tour Coeur d'Alene and Hayden. They get out to Rathrum and they're they're like pleasantly surprised by how. You know, it's not as busy. The hustle and bustle isn't out there, but they're building some gorgeous homes out on the prairie. Mm-hmm. So next up on the list has been the most active city in all of North Idaho for one reason. It has the space. Um, yeah. You're going to look at it, you know, moving here on the map as here's Post Falls. Well, that's like the downtown area. That's a really old area. But um, a lot of what makes up Post Falls is the prairie Connor, you know, worked new construction for years in here. I built all the power lines in here. We would see each other all the time. So this is dating us way back. But this is what we consider basically post falls. And it's on the line of, you know, and everybody looks at Coeur d'Alene on the map. But if you look at Coeur d'Alene new construction, it's going to be border here too. So yeah, why don't you talk about post falls and and kind of one of the biggest advantages for buyers right now is this this area Mm -hmm. for new construction. Yeah, I think we talked about that in another video. That that whole Post Falls Prairie that connects Post Falls to Coeur d'Alene to Rathrum, that kind of triangle there, yep. that's where all the growth and development, the main part is, because that's where the land is, right? And yep. and whenever there's a dip in the market, that's kind of that's been the one that's I think been affected the most um, with this with these interest rates. So a lot of opportunities, a lot of I think, you know, uh, you can available to go under asking price by quite a bit in some of these homes and get deals. Um, but yeah, Post Falls is growing. Eventually, you, we always I always thought of Post Falls as because I, I grew up in Coeur d'Alene and you, you were in Hayden. I, I don't know if you, if you felt the same way, but it always felt like Post Falls was like the little brother, the smaller city Train, to the yeah. west. Yeah. we And uh, but pretty soon, I don't even know if the new census has come out, but I'm sure it's going to be a much bigger metro city population wise than Coeur d'Alene or Hayden ever could be because we're just bordered on that side by, by the mountains. So yeah. um, one thing that's, that's starting to happen, I think it's way overdue is that downtown corridor or downtown that they need are working on off Spokane street and yeah. by the river. That's finally starting to get some development, some really cool um, housing options are going down there. Some, some restaurants, Post Falls breweries down there. That's been the anchor for a little bit, but yeah, right there off of Spokane street, um, that's going to continue to grow. And I think that's going to be huge for Post Falls because, you know, up until that really happens, it's, it's more of a commuter city. You live in Post Falls and you either work in Coeur d'Alene or you work in Spokane Valley, Liberty Lake. Um, but I think that's going to be changing as industries start coming in. Yeah, growing up, it's it's, it's funny because Post Falls to me was always just like the oldest city, like nothing new. Um, the only thing that we had going was that I ninety right here somewhere in Post Falls. They just kept putting in all the new restaurants like all along here, so that's really why we went oh, in there. Yeah, so then, yeah, really the last decade, um, and even before that, um, you know, oh two, re- I mean two thousand two thousand two, we were the fastest economic growing city. None of this is new to us now. It's been you know, three decades in the making, but this is what we saw. I mean, we used to go dove hunting and hunting in this out here. There was nothing growing. And then now it's like, I mean, there's not many farm fields left. It's still gorgeous. It's pretty, but yeah. And if, if you go, I know we did a vlog a, a while back of the uh, South of the river that's yeah. still post falls. And that's Super a whole sneaky. different, yep. whole, whole different ball game. Amazing properties back there. Uh, wooded sure, yep. acres, views of the river. Um, and then if you go West, towards the state line, there's a lot of industry coming in there yep. off of Beck road. You got Cabela's, um, 
you know, big Walmart and, and there's more coming in, in that area. I know from a commercial side. Yeah, actually. And kind of like what we call the tech, we've always called it tech hub was Liberty Lake, you know, Liberty yeah. Lake, Washington right here. So this is yep. a corridor right here. That's getting a lot of, um, uh, jobs. And mm -hmm. so we're seeing some growth, you know, obviously we worked that Washington side too, but you know, over in the Valley here, tied into post falls, but yeah, we've actually had quite a few clients love South of the river. Cause we did that vlog and you know, it is, yep. this is middle of nowhere. You have some of the best tax advantages for property taxes. I mean, there's hundred acre ranches up in here. There's a herds of elk. It's, it's gorgeous. And then you can take these Riverview drives and stuff, um, all back roads through the mountains, right to, you know, to the state line there. So you want to keep yep. that on. And then with post falls, I get it. Why it's climbing up the rankings so fast is just because of all of the new construction. It's where the majority of the newer schools are going too. So got to keep yep. up with that growth. Yep. Absolutely. Next on the list is super sneaky. Only the locals know about it. But number three is Dalton Gardens. Why don't you talk Ooh, about Dalton. Dalton and what Dalton makes was on the list, list, huh? Number three. Three. But I like it. Again, I like that it. was like a super old, you know, town. And that, that elementary school growing up, all my buddies went there. It was in a freaking barn, like for <laughs> real, for real. And now it's like the top elementary school. Yeah, no. Dalton Gardens is, is I think I've talked about it a ton on this channel. It's. You know, I wouldn't call it a, like a city. It's not a town or a city, but it is more of a neighborhood in between Hayden and Coeur d'Alene. And it's just, it's unique. It's a gym. Uh, no properties can be under a Dalton acre. Um, and that thing. hey, that's my buddy's house. Yeah, right I know. There. We know everybody. My uncle lives over here. My buddies. I, mean, I know everybody <laughs> in here. Actually, that that house is the the uh, the people who built, remodeled the wine house. So fun. Cool. Fun. Uh, little nugget there um but yeah no dalton gardens people love it it's that ranch farm mini farm lifestyle uh you got the acre lots you can have chickens goats i mean there's even a little horse arena back tucked back in there um you're you're butted up right by canfield mountain which is a one of our biggest uh, most popular uh recreation sites to go mountain biking hiking uh yeah there it is right yeah, there all these and uh and you're literally five minutes to Honeysuckle Beach in Hayden and probably eight to 10 minutes to downtown Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene High School, boom, right right there off of Dalton. Feed into so, the number one high school, baby. Let's boom. go, Vikes. I got to I gotta kind of temper my, <laughs> my Viking hate a little bit because I'm now in a zone that my kids have to go to Coeur d'Alene. So I'm going to have to figure out if we need to move or <laughs> get transferred. <laughs> Our viewers are probably like, what are they talking about? But when you're small town and you have literally like two to three high schools, the rivalry is thick. And we, we grew up at rivalry high schools playing basketball against each other. So it's really fun to talk still. And that's what growing up in North Idaho is like. When you move here, yeah. that's what it's going to be like for you. you. You'll be in a community. You're going to see these kids go. But Dalton Garden here, um, like he mentioned, there's Hayden Lake. There's Coeur d'Alene Lake right here and a super sneaky one, Fernand Lake, another one that you can boat on. Um, you can head up here into the National Forest as well. So uh, Dalton, you feed right into Canfield Middle yep. School, Coeur d'Alene High School, and Dalton Elementary. Everybody just walks their kids to school. Yeah, I just think like produce stand, little mini produce stands on the side of the road. You got, you know, big plots, big, nice homes. Uh, but yep. there's also some a lot of older homes still, smaller homes that – that are kind of as yep. as uh, sellers turn them over, they're gonna there's gonna, there's still opportunity to do some remodeling and some expansion on some, on some of those properties. Yeah, now might actually be a time you can get into Dalton. That's the hardest yep. place ever. So, all right, uh, now we're gonna get to the the number two and number one places uh, according yeah. to the rankings, and it is complete bush league. But number two comes in at Hayden, so my stomping that grounds. Sounds but sounds about right. No, no, no. I think. <laughs> They must have uh, they must have messed up the order here because it should have been number one. So tell them what's going on. I mean, obviously not a lot new in Hayden, but we've had so many clients love Hayden. Oh, why, yeah. why is that? Man, Hayden has been a, a spot where and I got to I got to give you a little props here on, on your hometown because people will come in. We'll do home searches. They want to be in Coeur d'Alene because that's where they, you know, see the PR or they think of. And then we do a tour. And they, they get into Hayden, back into that area uh, yeah. by Avondale, Hayden Lake, the country club. And they're like, this is the spot because it's mm -hmm. just quieter. 
Um, you don't have as many tourists. It's more, um, but you still have everything that you that you want in terms of golfing, recreation, the, the Hayden Lake, which is a little less crowded um, than the northern part of Coeur d'Alene Lake. Uh, and you got, I, I, I will say you need, we need to get some more uh, quality restaurants up in Hayden because everyone pretty much goes right there to that, that amazing <laughs> plot, the porch. the porch, but we need, we need some more of those going up there. But overall, that's pretty much what people say about Hayden is just, you have nice established neighborhoods, big trees, and you're close to everything and it's not quite as crowded. Now you're going to have a little bit longer drive if you're, if you um, commute to Spokane or if you, you know, work or if you fly a lot, it's a little bit longer of a drive because US 95 going south from Hayden is getting the, with the with the increase in population, obviously that's getting a little more uh, mm -hmm. time consuming to drop down to I-90. But I mean, those northern spots up off uh, north of Hayden, south of Lancaster, right? Those neighborhoods like Fox Hollow, Rimrock Meadows, all those Rosenberger, yep. Aspen Homes, Monarch Homes type of neighborhoods are just people fall in love with it. It's it's a unique spot that I think. Um, is a great value right now because there's yep. there's a lot of homes in that in that area that are listed right now that weren't t a year ago yeah we keep naming names but we know every builder we know everybody here so we're just mentioning some of the builders and these are your typical like idaho you know new construction homes triple fascia just idaho look you know mountains yep. in the back but real quick before we hop off of hayden so hayden has uh its own elementary school um you know hayden meadows but the other thing is you are going to feed into Canfield and um, uh, to Coeur High School and some parts of Hayden across the highway. They go into um, they're going to feed into, you know, if you come over here, you're going to feed into Lake City or whatever. But most. Yeah. Of and, Hayden. and just and they just kind of changed the yeah. uh, school zoning. So now it's pretty cut and dry uh, for high school wise. They're using 95 as the center line. Yep. So if you're going if you're east of 95, you're going to Coeur High School. If yep. you're west, we're going to Lake City. Yep. So I just wanted to let you know that Lake City is just across the road over here. So the other one is if you want the ultimate lake living, we got one of the last lake living oh, yeah. spots left right, right here. Why don't you talk about what, what you got going here? Yeah. Wildcat on Hayden. Uh, the roads are in. Um, it's it's an amazing gated development. Probably the, the newest and last one um, yep. on Hayden Lake. That's a kind of an older photo, but we have one waterfront lot left and we're just launching. I believe it's going to be, end up being, we have six upper lots that are over an acre, um, an acre large. And then there's going to be a member's lodge, gated entrance, uh, community access to the lake. It's going to be, it is one of a kind neighborhood and development. It's taken a while just to get it the ground and, and get the road in there, but it's hap it happened, the black tops down, and now we're about ready to kick it into high gear. So um, if you're looking for that lake living and private seclusion, but close to town, uh, this is gonna be an amazing, amazing development to get into. Yep, and so you're kind of at the north end of the lake here, even though I'm twisted around, but Sportsman's Park is where you can launch your boat. And then, I mean, yep. you can take your side by side from here and you're up in the national forest, I mean, all the hunting in the world is here, but yeah, it's prime, prime, uh, lake living right here. So you got to reach out to Connor and the team about wild. Yeah. Uh, and we, we just listed one of the, up, we just listed one of the upper lots. We're rolling them out one by one. So, um, reach out though. Cause we have more lots, but you got to reach out to me. We just don't have them active yet. <clears throat> All right, man. Number one, and obviously everybody's heard of it. That's usually what they're searching, but Coeur d'Alene, uh, it, it took the rankings again. So, you know, people are moving to, to North Idaho, to Coeur d'Alene, and it's, um, you know, you, you obviously grew up down here, but, you know, most people aren't moving to downtown Coeur d'Alene. What are some of the areas that they're really, you know, favoriting? Well, let's just acknowledge the No, the let's get past this. The, <laughs> the, the, the awful <laughs> ranking here. Yeah, no, Coeur d'Alene is, is uh, you know, there's different parts to Coeur d'Alene. Downtown area, it's not a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of people moving into downtown, but typically it's your second home buyers, um, your vacation 
vacation rentals, which there's some stuff coming up with the city council on, on Airbnb regulations. So we could probably do another video on that once they decide what they're going to do, but it's the epicenter. Uh, it's where all the action happens downtown. Um, if you're into events, the lake, the park walkable, if you like wine, you can stop by this amazing establishment that we opened uh, a couple years ago. Uh, but a lot of, a lot of craftsmen downtown homes. I think there's going to be some some steals in the East Sherman and Midtown neighborhoods pretty soon. Um, there's condo living in downtown, but really the, the other parts of Coeur d'Alene that I think have been extremely popular are the the neighborhoods kind of on the west side, where you have the Coeur d'Alene Public Golf Course neighborhood, mm-hmm. yeah. um, established neighborhood, big trees, and you have. You can walk to the Croc Center, which is one of our major like um, f- fitness. You have basketball courts, pools. Um, it's a it's a sweet uh, community asset, I would say. You got the softball fields over there, the Prairie Trail. So the Coeur d'Alene Public Golf Course neighborhood, which is like Fairway Forest and uh, Fairway Hills, right there. There's that little island in the middle, and then all the the surrounding um, houses there been a really popular choice. And then as you go North, you have probably the one that is really started out the planned neighborhoods in Coeur d'Alene and is still one of the most popular Coeur d'Alene place, which is what surrounds Lake city high school. And another sneaky good neighborhood in Coeur d'Alene um, is Fernan, the Fernan village, Lake village neighborhood. Uh, it's actually its own little teeny mun- municipality, but really it's part of Coeur d'Alene. You just go down East Sherman, cross under I-90, and it's a little neighborhood, but you got Fernand Lake, uh, a lot of mid-century modern style single-level houses back in there, and you can walk and bike to downtown, and you feel like you're a little bit out of town. National Forest starts in five miles. Five miles, yep. You go back there. You go back that road, you can get all the way back on the backside, go down to the little North Fork of the Coeur d'Alene River. That's where we used to go camping. Super school. sneaky. This is the first at my buddy's house. I don't know if they own it anymore, but first time I ever drank beer was at his. We, we boated <laughs> across this lake, so <laughs> there's my dirty secret. There you go. Uh, but yeah, this is for not the last here. I'm sure. You look at how pretty this is, and man, you're five miles from National Forest. And here's the other super sneaky thing. I had a lot of friends who grew up in here. When you when you go out, <clears throat> it's like you're in the middle of oasis land here of, of nature, trees, lake, private, quiet. And then um, you got the nicest golf course right there. One of them, Coeur d'Alene yep. Resort Golf Course in your backyard. But here's I-90 oh, to yeah. get like anywhere you need. So um, yep. you don't really hear that freeway traffic there either because the trees are so big. Yeah. So I, I would say those are kind of the, you got downtown, you have the west side, which has some nice, you know, family planned neighborhoods yep. or not family, but, you know, planned neighborhoods. And then you got Fernand. That's an extension of downtown. And yeah, I mean that's that's Coeur d'Alene living right there, and that's why it's number one. Yeah, there's um, all sorts of Coeur d'Alene living. There's all sorts of Hayden living. I mean, we literally scratch the surface, and I know you think, "Oh my God, it's such a small town. This will be easy." It's actually more difficult because Hayden has like four different styles of living. Dalton's different style. I mean, there is like, but when you start mentioning stuff, you can hear me and Connor going back and forth of like the the names, the people that we got friends here. I don't think there's a road or a driveway we haven't driven by. So when you start talking to us, like, yeah, I'm thinking I, I like this kind of that kind of lifestyle. This is what I want yeah. back. It's like, boom, we got you. And not only that, we got a pulse on what's coming in the market. So that's the only way we can help you. Uh, the rankings are, are Bush League, but <laughs> regardless, you're starting to see where some of these these cities that were nothing are starting to really creep up there. Um, and there's some advantages in this market. So the only way we can help, you got to reach out. You got to give us a call. Shoot us a text. Send us an email. Days, nights, weekends. We get your back when moving to North Idaho. And until the next video, we'll catch you later.